<laughs> yeah, and we're back with a story story about where we've been the past couple weeks, months. Uh, yeah. Uh, on a side note, follow us on our TikTok and our Instagram. Keep the bell. Keep the bell on my Instagram because then if you follow my Instagram, you know what's going up down. So about a week ago, week ago, I was wrongfully imprisoned for something I did not do. I was taken out of my home forcefully in handcuffs and thrown into the back of a police van. Yes, I was taken to a, a mental institute, like this gentleman in the background. <laughs> I'm in the holding cell now. They put, they drugged me, so I wouldn't speak. And this uh, nice old lady with um, dementia, schizophrenia, something, you know, started talking to me. She was like, "I used to work in a prison, and..." I, I know when I'm being treated unethically, and this is unethical treatment. She's like, ride ride she was ride or die for real. But then they strapped her to her bed and they injected her with drugs, and I think she died. 36 hours I spent in prison. Um, yeah, I was in prison for nine days. Uh, I was held there against my will. Guys, let me just tell you. To, to any of our viewers who are feeling suicidal, who, you know, deal with suicidal ideation, I want to tell you, if you're feeling suicidal, don't tell anyone. We need to change the system, guys. Bro, fight the system, that's what I'm saying. Fight the power. Make suicidal legal. Wait, make suicide legal. My mom was a drug addict and she killed herself. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Follow our socials! Follow us on... Uh, Wattpad. Oh yeah, guys, we made an Imgur. We we made a Pixter. Follow us on Jumpstart First Grade. Follow us on uh, Mix with My Diddy. My mom is yelling at me. I have to go. Okay, bye guys. See you. I hit a personal PR of 400 pounds, which is pretty impressive. And this he lifted his he lifted his mom off the floor. <laughs> Ooh!